Hi, so before we continue to the video, I, as I was editing, I just realized how old the video actually is and just how outdated a lot of the information is as far as, you know, my new car and while well, I'm wearing a jacket, also because I was freezing back then. So just keep that in mind, the video was filmed in May. So all I'm talking about, the cars and, you know, any, any things that I could mention that are a little outdated, just keep that in mind, it was filmed a long time ago and I'm just getting to editing and posting it. Enjoy. How's it going YouTube? So today we're gonna change the accessory belt on my Miata. Uh, we are not going to change the second one, there's two of them, so we're only going to change the one that runs the power steering. Uh, and this uh, model was not equipped with an AC, so what we're going to do is just the belt and I'll show you how, and I'll show you how easy it is. And the other belt will be a similar process, but with the alternator, uh, but we're not going to get into that uh, just today because it was already just changed recently. So we're just going to do the power steering. And what you will need for this job, you will need a set of pliers, the replacement belt. You will also need a basic set of tools. This one is not that basic at all. It's actually very extensive. However, uh, a simple set of tools, simple set of ratchets and sockets will do just fine. Oh. And of course, a water bottle for hydration. And before we move on to the job itself, uh, you want to make sure that you have the right belt. So this is the belt that I tried to install previously, and this is the 4, uh, 4PK883. And this belt turned out to be too long, and I believe this belt would uh, work best in a Miata with AC. Uh, so this belt in a Miata with an AC uh, from factory would run the AC and the power steering belt. Uh, sorry, power steering um, pump. However, uh, in this Miata, it did not come with AC from factory, so we're just going to use a shorter belt. The, uh, the belt that is on it right now is, I believe, 4PK853. We're going to use 4PK855. The difference is not great. And ideally, you want to go with a shorter belt rather than a longer belt. And I tried to install this one, and this one was just did not work at all. I was unable to tighten it. This is the one we're going to use, and this is the one that I found av easily available. So we're going to do just that. And also, I do want to explain the designation of the part and what it actually means. So 4PK855. Uh, 4 stands for the number of ribs and um, 855 stands for the length of the circumference of the belt, so 855 millimeters. As you can see, 4 belts and this should be 855 millimeters, the circumference. The first thing that we're going to do is we will need to get uh, better access to the belt itself and to the, uh, to the pulleys. So we will need to remove a couple of intake uh, hoses and the job will be a lot smoother and easier from there. So we're gonna do just that first, starting with this one. Uh, just like so, there you go. All right, then we're gonna move on to this one. I'm not a big fan of these clamps. They are always a pain to take off. All right, just like so. And we're gonna pull this one off, and then this one as well. And we'll just put them aside. And then we're going to unscrew this this uh the air intake box it's not really a box it's more of a cone at this point but here's where we're going to unscrew it remove it just like so okay and we're just going to put it aside do not forget the uh, do not forget the o2 sensor as well these are always a pain to take off as well there you go all right and the, off the intake goes and now we have very good access to the pulley itself and the bracket. Now, so what we need to do first is we will need to crank the uh, crank the starter uh, just a couple of times. So we expose the bolt that's behind um, behind this pulley, and we want to make sure that the opening is um, meets with the bolt, so we can actually unscrew it. I think we're good. So we're gonna start with that bolt behind the pulley and that bolt is a 916. We don't wanna undo the bolt completely, we just wanna loosen it. Okay, and then we're gonna do this bolt right here and that is a half inch. And this one you can basically loosen with your fingers. So we just have this bolt left. Okay. So after this, now that the bracket is loose and the power steering pump is loose, uh, we can lower the power steering pump. 
we we'll just need to unscrew this one a little more. And this should just lower, just push on it, and it will lower loosening the belt. Yeah, just like so, and we can yeah, we can unscrew a little more. Now we can actually lower the parsing pump and just take off the belt. Voila. Now I was completely wrong, this belt is actually a 4PK855, which is perfect because that's exactly the belt that we have to replace it. And they appear to be exactly the same length. 4PK855, 4PK855, perfect. And the reason I wanna change this belt is because it is quite old, it's not looking too great, and it does have a few cracks. This is the one that would concern me most, as you can see. It's seen better days and it's definitely a very good idea, very good idea to replace it. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the belt onto the lower pulley, onto the crank, and onto the power steering pump pulley right here. And this is looking good and just lift it to tighten it and just make sure it sits nicely in all the grooves and it doesn't, uh, it's not slipping. And at this point you will be able to rotate the pulley freely so it'll make your job of tightening that bolt a lot easier so we're going to start with this bolt right here and with this bolt will raise the power steering pump and tighten the belt and continue tightening this one and you can already see the bracket tightening and the belt tightening as well and the whole power steering pump moving upwards Okay, it's looking pretty tight. Now it's also important to remember that the belt will stretch a little bit. So if anything, after using it, after driving it for a while, you might want to re-tighten it as well, just to be sure. Okay, then I'm going to completely tighten this bolt. Okay, and then we'll move on to the larger ones. Okay, and the one behind, just right here. Okay. Just make sure not to over tighten it, just so it's snug. Just double check these ones. Yep, yeah. give this one a little bit of a tighten and the way to know that your belt is not too tight, you want to make sure to compare it with the other belt previously installed. And also, you should be um, you should struggle to twist it halfway, but you will know when it's too tight when you're completely unable to do so. When it's just tight enough, you will be able to do so, but it will be hard. If it's too tight, you won't be able to do it at all. Double check everything. No so any issues in the future. Yeah, tight. Tight. Okay, let's start the car. So it looks like the new belt is working well. No issues. Nice and snug. Alright, thank you for watching. Smash like, subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at mothlove.photo. And let me know what you'd like to see in the video. Let me know and then we'll uh, see, try to make it happen. I'm looking to buy a new car soon, so uh, that's going to be exciting. Uh, but I don't know if I'm replacing my Civic or my Mazda, so we'll take